In this video, we're going to show you how you can do a open house registration with a landing page inside of Command that you can use in your open house flyers through either a QR code or a link that you text people saying click here to register. So first thing I did is I came into Command and went to the Consumer tab. From here, you can notice there's a whole section of landing pages. I've already created one, so if you want to see a sample of what one's going to look like, here will be the header, welcome to our open house, please sign in. Down below will be all the details of the home. So this is the kind of page we're going to be creating. So we're going to come over to create a new page and choose a landing page. A landing page is a standalone page, not on your website, that just stands by itself. The great thing is you can do this for properties that have come on the market because they will stay on that website even if they've sold or went under contract. Since some MLS agreements will take the property off your website, this is a way to have that listing survive after. So while this is a video on how to do a landing page for an open house, it's also a video on how to just do a landing page for a property if you want to lead generate and have people go to this page to get details about it. So I'm going to say create page. When this comes up, I have the ability first to name it. So I like to name it for the address. So I've already got a tab open. This is the open house that I'm doing. So I can put this address in and that's kind of what I'm gonna name it as. So I'll go ahead and put that in as the address and I can say open house. Perfect. Now I'm gonna put some stuff here and on the right you've got widgets. So I start with a branded header because that's where I can say like, welcome to this open house with my branding on it. Next, I'm going to do the lead form. I want to capture their information, so I'm going to click over a lead form. Don't worry, it says interested, let's talk. We're going to change it to welcome to our open house. Please sign in. Down below, I'm now going to add the listing itself, so I can drag and drop the listing over here, and we're going to be able to configure it to the listing that I had chosen. And then at the bottom, I like to throw in things either about your local expert, you could do a market snap. I like to promote my app, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab the download my app link and have that at the bottom because that's another great way that they can reach me. Perfect, those are the three widgets I'm gonna use. You can add more if you want, but let's make it as simple as possible for them, right? So I'm gonna click configure widgets. This is where you get to actually label everything. So I start with the header. Now I can put in the header of welcome. You only have a few characters, let me rephrase that. Uh, so I might just put the address, 3909 Northeast 21st Avenue, number four, open house. Perfect. Oh, I didn't fit it in, so we'll just leave that out. I've already got my picture, my branding, my number, my information, and my team logo in the header. Save that one. There we go, so now it's already got the address. I click the next button. Now we replace the header. So instead of interested, let's talk, welcome to our open house. Please sign in below. Perfect, save and apply. Now that form is done. Welcome to our open house, please sign in below. Next button, now I get to choose the listing, so we're gonna browse listings. And it allows you to search for any listing in America. So I'm going to say 3909 Northeast 21st Avenue, number four. Okay, and here it is. This is the one. So I'm going to select this one. Now it lets me pick what is my main image. So looking at all these, maybe I want it to be the main view. Maybe I want it to be outside the unit. I'm going to leave it as the first image. Or you can update your own custom image. Save and apply, and now that has updated my widget on the left to have my information, please sign in, and all the details about the property below. So here's the information, here's the photos, there's the details. So it's their ability to walk around, get to know more about the property. So great, save and apply that one. Click my next button, and the last widget is download my app, which is already pre-filled in for me. So I can see download my app and search Leave it like that. I can add some more information if I want. Download button, save and apply, and that's done as well. Now that would be for those widgets. I can hit done. You could also add stuff like a market snap or a local expert and highlight some additional information. For this, I'm just keeping it simple. Once I am all done with this, I would have the ability to publish the page or save it. 
Now, I will share under content blocks. You can add your own images if you want and your own text if you want to embed a video. You could use the text box to embed a YouTube video, things like that, which is a little more detailed. Um, the simple story is if you add a text box, go to YouTube and share the embed code and just copy and paste the link in and that would put the video in there. Um, come to the widgets, add any of these that you want, and then when you're done, it's your ability to publish this page. Are you sure you want to publish it and make it visible to others? Yes. Now, it's not visible to anybody unless you share the link. So that just publishes it. This is the link that's going to view the page. So if I click the link, here is the information that's going to pop up. So welcome to the open house. Please sign in below. Here's the details about the property like we talked about and download my app. And I could just share this either by texting it to somebody. I like to use shorter links, so I might use a service like Bitly, which takes a long link and makes it shorter. So control V there, shorten, copy this link. Now this link will work, so I can use that link. Perfect, so that link would work. I can also do a um, generate QR code. There's a bunch of them out there that can make one. And I could just pick any of them. It doesn't matter which one, whatever's free. So I'm just going to paste the link here that is now making a QR code. And now I can save that and just download it as a picture and add this to one of my open house flyers. So welcome to the open house. Scan this QR code and please sign in. That QR code is going to take them to this page to register. And that's how they're going to come into my command. Now you're going to have to go in and tag them really quick. Soon we'll have the ability to add tags and let them know. To make sure I know this came from my open house yet, I can pretty much tell based on when did it come in. If it was between, let's say, 12 to 2 on Saturday, I'm most likely sure they came from my open house. So I can check on that registration. You might just tell them in the note, just leave me a quick note of this address and leave us an opinion of what you think of the property. Would be another great way to have them leave a comment of what they think. And that's how you can create a landing page. It's your ability to take advantage of generating leads and getting stuff in. By the way, it'll track it here as well if they use it. So we had a lead from the open house that came in from this landing page. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Leave a comment below. Love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on Kidbit Connect and YouTube today.